I'm Burkrow, this is Zelda. I've decided it would not be a Brick Road Let's Play unless I did something abysmally stupid. Why did I open my menu there? I had no need to open my menu right there. It's just... I'm going to do level 6 before I do level 5. Oh, and stop it. No, I don't want to hear it. I don't want to hear this crap about how Brick Road, you're just going to die and then... You're going to yell and scream, and nobody wants to watch it anymore. We're, we're all tired of it. We just watched RMN Bros. But no, I'm going to do it. I'm confident that I can take care of it. Um, if you're not familiar with Zelda, the reason Level 6 is it's a horror show. It really is. It's got blue whiz robes. It's got like-likes. All of the terrible things you can think of. The only thing it doesn't have is Dark Nuts. That's really the only thing it does not have. But... The things I want to get are on this side of the world, and that's where level 6 is. So I don't want to go all the way over here, and then all the way back, and then all the way back again. And it's just... We'll just cut down on the middleman. We'll do the levels out of order. Not a big deal. You want to go up, left, down, left, through the forest maze ahead. That's the trick. So... The reason level 6 is going to be difficult is because I don't have any potion. I don't have any way to restore my health. So if the wizrobes do a number on me, which they almost certainly will, that that's kind of going to be it. It's going to be a game over, and then I'll start back at the beginning of the dungeon with three hearts, and there's no way I'll get through it. So that's what we might have to look forward to. Uh, but I get a cool sword. That'll be fun. Gold sword. It's actually called the Magical Sword, but they made it gold because gold is awesome. I mean, it is. So level six is right up here. And wish me luck. The good thing, what, something I've got in my favor is I've got um, a bunch of spare keys. So I won't have to worry about picking up keys. I can just kind of gun it through the level. And, yeah. Orange wiz robes are not too bad. Because you can see where they appear and they always shoot once. It's the blue ones you have to worry about. Because they kind of fly around the room. And oh my goodness, they're just a pain in the butt. They really are. The cool thing is, is I almost have enough for potion now, so if I do die, I'll just go out and buy potion and, you know, come back. I would like to try to get through here. The other thing is there's like-likes in this dungeon, which means you lose your big shield if, they, if it gets eaten. And the problem with that, of course, is that if you can't block a wizard's shots, they become a lot harder to deal with. This whole dungeon is just terrifying. Terrifyingly hard. So... Let's try to... Okay, three shots to kill a life like Three to kill a whiz robe. Oh, I'm concentrating real hard, because my shield gets eaten down. I'm kind of boned, honestly. Is this the wall? Yes. And we'll just skip that part of the dungeon there. Oh, no, I got... Oh my goodness. And yeah, if the blue wizard ropes start shooting you, they just do not stop. They just shoot you forever. That's what they do. And I hate those ghosts, too, man. Those bubbles. Those things are tricky, because what happens is they hit you, and then they, they steal your sword for about four seconds. Which is death in a lot of places in this game. If you can't don't have your sword, there's no way to defend yourself, so... Bad news. And they are a little easier to beat, because I can slash my sword, I don't have to fight them head-on. That's kind of cool. And let me uh, just point this out, just real quick. When Link picks up an item, his face kind of looks like the awesome.jpg. You know what I'm talking about. I'm sorry I had to point that out, but whatever. Oh, I'm close to the end of the dungeon, actually. I don't have too many more whiz robes that I've got to fight, which is good. I mean, don't get me wrong. Get on my way, please. Now that I've got my magical sword, I can kill these things in one hit. Come here. Nice. Beautiful. Okay. Oh, crap. I'm getting sloppy. Shoot me. He's dead. Oh, my goodness. I've got to kill all the monsters in this room. Crap. Why am I doing so poorly? And then the boss... Did I buy arrows? 
Yes, I did. I forgot if I had bought arrows or not, because you have to use arrows to kill this boss. No arrows, no killy the boss. I like being able to attack those guys from the side, but man, you can just see all the life that I'm missing. And like I said, the level's a little easier because of the way the sword works in this version. In the original version, would've needed potion, that's all there is to it. Get him away, bat! My goodness. Okay, do I have to kill any more wizrobes? I don't think so. I think I've done killing wizrobes. I've got to make it up through here. Oh my god, why do they do that? Uh, yeah, get the bow and arrow out here. If you're gonna cut it, cut it close. It's my motto, you guys. Whew, six triangles. So now I gotta go to level 5, but the thing about level 5 is there are two dungeons in the game, level 5 and level 7, where you f you meet a man who says, I'll give you more bombs, but you have to pay him 100 gold, 100 gold, 100 rupees, they're called rupees, not gold, I got into a Final Fantasy mindset there, except it's called Jill in Final Fantasy, not, never mind. Um, now on one hand, having extra rupees is a good thing, where's my... Oh, I didn't pick up the bracelet yet. Duh. No wonder. On one hand, having a bunch of bombs is a good thing. You can get up to 16 if you buy the upgrade from level 5 and then the upgrade from level 7. But that's 200 rupees. Awesome, that JPEG. Um, on the other hand, you don't really need there's 16 bombs. I mean, you only... There's, there's a few times you have to bomb places in dungeons to get around. Uh, but 8 is pretty much sufficient for the game. Take me to level 5. Not here. I want to go to level 5. This is it. And level 5 is actually a little longer than some of the other stages because of... Uh, well, first of all, you have to walk through this screen like 64 times to get to it. Not really, but... Um, it's kind of like convoluted. Cause you kind of have to go out of your way to get the treasure. And then you've got to go back to the boss. Go figure. The flooded temple. Why is it a flooded temple up on the mountains? That's what I want to know. So, bats are called keys. Uh, and mummies are called gibdos. For so I don't know why. They don't just call them mummies, but they don't. They're called gibdos. Go this way. And I want to keep my bombs on, actually. I don't want to take that guy's bombs yet, because I'm going to be coming back through here. So we saw Wizrobes in the last dungeon. In this dungeon, we see Blue Dark Nuts. These guys suck out loud. They're just as bad as the orange ones, except they take more, hi more hits to kill. I don't know if they do more damage or not, but just the fact that they take extra hits to kill, they're just awful. And usually, if you've got to fight them, there's a lot of them. They pack those guys into rooms. Fortunately, the game takes pity on you, and there's never a place where you have to fight Dark Nuts and Wizrobes at the same time. I bet there's uh, custom levels like that, though. I mean, if you really hate yourself, you can play custom levels where you have to fight Dark Nuts and Wizrobes on the same screen or at the same time. That's almost like boss fight quality difficulty there, though. I'll tell you what, this slashing attack really does make this... Getting through two block, uh, blue Dark Nut rooms and still being full health on the other side, that's that's insane. So I've got the... This was a whistle in uh, the NES version on the gold cartridge. That's the only version there is. If you've got a gray cartridge, you're doing it wrong. Uh, but it's a whistle in the original, and they turned it into an ocarina for Zelda Classic, just kind of keeping more in tune with how the series evolved. Alright, let's see if I can... Uh, get all the way through this dungeon. This dungeon's pretty straightforward once you've gotten the treasure. Kind of just a straight shot to the end. And most dungeons are, really. I mean, they're convoluted in the sense that they take a long time to solve, but once you've solved them, not a big deal. I'll we'll kill all these guys. I do need to... Before I can solve level 7, I need to buy some food. 
give, the, give those take a lot of hits, too. And I've got enough money for food, but I don't have enough money for food and a potion. And I'm going to want potion before I go to level 9, definitely. Because level 9 is big. And it's full of whiz robes. And, yeah, just bad news. So, yeah, I can just walk around, you cats. I'll see you later. I don't think these guys, you could damage them with a sword in the original version. You needed to use arrows or something, but you can just kill them with a sword in Zelda Classic, so... You don't have to kill those guys, though. It's just the polite thing to do. But I'm a rude dude. And Dig Dogger hates certain kind of sound. Beautiful finish. That was lovely. I've got time to spare, man. Right. Let's, uh... What else can I get done in this video? That takes me to... Ah, no, level 6 sucks. Get me out of here. Ah! Uh, I want to go to level 3, I think? Eh, one's close enough. Because... I need to buy food, and I think there's somewhere I can buy food for 60. I think it's the Blue Ring Shop you can buy food for 60. Pegasus shoes would be really nice. Unfortunately, don't have any. Uh, no, yeah, it's the Blue Ring Shop over here. So I will go buy some food. You're gonna love what you need the food for. It's just absolutely ludicrous. Remember back when... Nintendo games uh, were allowed to be ludicrous. They were allowed to do just completely crazy things for no reason other than they were video games. Now there's got to be a point to everything, you know? And especially Zelda games. There's got to be a point to everything in a Zelda game. There's got to be a fetch quest attached to everything and a story and a cutscene and etc, etc. But not the original Zelda, man. This game is just balls to the walls ridiculous for no reason other than it can be and it does not care what you think. I gotta buy my food. What am I doing over here? No wonder this video is going to take the full 15 minutes, because I don't know where I'm going. But I won't spoil it before I get there. I'm, maybe I'll get to the food thing at the, uh, in this video. Yeah, that's where I'll, that's a good, that'll be a good spot to end this video, is the food thing. There's my food. Thank you. Now, hopefully, between here and level 9, I get enough money to buy my potion. Level 8 does not require potion because it's very large and it's very convoluted, but if you know your way through it and you know where the uh, the goodies are, which I do, it's a pretty straight shot to the end. There are a few challenging dark nut rooms, but other than that, not a big deal. Drain the lake, Obama. Thank you. The Lost Bastion. I just want to get to the room with the... Uh, where I need to use the food. And I think I can do that in this video. I just need to remember my way through here. And I want a fairy. Thank you. So, there's a treasure in this dungeon. I don't know if I really need to get it. Um, I think up here. Wait a minute. Oh my goodness, I'm lost. I'm not lost. I know where I'm going. Yes. I know right where I'm going. Oh, no, he's the bomb guy. I wish I knew where I... Oh, I just wasted my last key, too. This video ends on a sour note. Brick Road wastes his last key. And I got one minute. I'm totally doing this, guys. Totally doing it. One minute. It's gonna happen. Watch. I'm gonna get to the food guy. Gonna be delicious. I mean, like, the situation will be delicious. Not that I'm gonna eat the food guy. That would be disturbing. And... Oh, did... Are you guys going to drop a key? Please tell me you guys are going to drop a key. Please, I've got 30 seconds to pick up a freaking key. No, I don't have a key. Ah! Ah! Screw you, food guy. Well, there's nothing I can do about it now, so... Yeah.